Hello everyone and welcome back to Fixing Tiny Tedious Things. In this video, I'm going to create schema markup for one of my WordPress websites. This is the website Python Courses Online. So on this website, I'm going to create one schema markup. The best part is I'm not going to use any plugins for this. And uh, all I have to do is I just need to place one simple code in the, in the header section of the website and then I can go into the custom fields and then create individual schema markups for any page I want. So for this, I just need to go to appearance and then all the way down into theme file editor. Let's click on that. Inside that, I'll need to add one code and that code must be added inside header.php. So from here, you can see, see, this is the theme that I use. And for this, I need to find a header PHP and here it is now here inside header.php I need to add one code before this head closing head tag so let's go ahead and add that code here don't worry I will be providing you this code you can get it from the description box so I'm going to copy it and then I'm gonna paste it here Let's hit save, update file. All right, files edited successfully. Let's see if the front end is working because sometimes uh, there are some errors if you don't enter the code well. But if you use the code that I provide and paste just like the way I did, you will be fine. But again, if you want, you can take a backup of header.php beforehand. If something goes wrong, you can shift back to the old file. So let's go back and do what we need to do. So once we have added this code, we just need to click on any of the, just click on new post. And inside there, we need to enable one option. And for that, just go to these three dots and uh, scroll down. Click on preferences. Inside that, you need to select more options, click on panels, and from that, scroll down and select this custom fields. Okay, enable and reload. Once that is enabled, you will be able to see one option added inside every page or post that you make, and inside that, you need to put your schema generator code, and here is that option. So as you can see, this is the new field. Just select enter new and here enter schema in lower letters. Okay. And click on add custom field. So this field is added. So whenever you generate a new schema code, you need to paste that schema code inside that particular post or page where you want to add it. So let's go to this website and create one schema. This is technical seo.com slash tool slash schema markup generator. This means I can create schema of various kinds. Here you can see this one is for article. This one is for breadcrumb. This is for event. There's, this is one for FAQ page, how to. And there are several more. Just see which one you need to make. Since uh, this one is for article, let's select article. And article type from here select. This is just an article such as news article or piece of investigative report or it's a blog post. I'm going to select a blog post and from here you can select the URL that I can leave empty for now. Just it is for the purpose of showing you and then enter the headline of the article then the image URL afterwards you can add the short description of the article here and then copy the code and go back to the post and paste here that is done and then hit publish this will inject the schema generator for a particular page that you want to generate schema for so this is how you can easily create schema for any page or any post you want and after once you place that schema code just go ahead and copy the url of your article or page and click uh, go to this website validator.schema.org and paste here then run test 
this will validate whether your schema is okay or not so here you can see these are the values for the my home page which I have already created beforehand so you can see there are no errors everything is perfectly okay now again just go back and uh, use any of these schemas and post inside your page or post wherever you want just copy this code and go back to the post or page where you want to add it and simply where you see schema just paste in this value box and hit publish that will be done if you still have any questions let me know I'll be sharing that code which I placed in the header section in the description box so do take a look at that and if you have more questions about it let me know I'll be answering all your questions if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing so that I can create more videos like this and I have the support that I need thank you